Okay, before seasoning this, I'm going to be cleaning. Now, this is the one where it has a lot of rust spots. This is actually due to it not being util uh, used for some time. And what happens because of our humidity, you cannot avoid this. They will always come out. So it's always good to actually check it every now and then. If it shows some uh, rust spots, that's okay. That's very, very easy to deal with. So what I'm going to first do is clean it. So here is, uh, uh, this is, this is a, a scotch bright rag. It's this, this is the one where it's actually light. I can probably show it to you later on how it uh, uh, looks like when you buy it from the store. But all I'm going to be doing here is just lightly wash it with soap. Now, the, now when I say lightly wash with soap is that it, I don't want to scrub everything. I just want to take out some of the rusted portions and some of the dirt that has accumulated since. There is absolutely no reason on why you need to season this from scratch. Just use some light soap and if you see some rust just scrub a little of it. And there you go. Now what will happen here is that I'm going to be showing a seasoning video shortly and what I'm going to do is dry this up with a rag or a paper towel and then I'll show you the process on how to go about this. Okay, now I'm ready to season this pan. You will probably notice that there are some rust portions here. Uh, that's not a problem. It's actually very easy to go about seasoning this. Now you will probably notice in the YouTube videos that they use an oven. Now, uh, these are mostly uh, videos about YouTubers coming from North America demonstrating to you how to use this. And the process that they use is that they fill it up all with oil, try to dry it as much as possible, put it in the oven and leave it there for at least an hour. And then after that, you take it out and then you put another coating and you have to do this about four to six times per the instructions they provide. That for me is a very, very taxing process. Now, I was doing that in the beginning, and I will have to admit that it's very frustrating. Now, one of the things that I have learned from others within the Pinoy Cast Iron Group is that you don't need an oven to do this. You can just do it on your regular stovetop. And I found this to be much, much more effective than trying to do this in the oven. So I'm going to show you how I would do this. So here, I have here the rag that I showed you earlier. This was the cotton rag. And I will be pouring a little of the grapeseed oil. And then I'm going to wipe everything. There, so wipe all the portions of the pan. It doesn't have to be saturated, it can be a thin layer and that's not a problem. You will notice that it's already spreading evenly because it is getting a little shiny. And then you do this again on the other reverse portion. There, just spread it around. If you lack a little, you don't have to oversaturate it. Put in a little more. Okay, there you go. Now once you did do this, all you need to do is turn on your stove top. And just let it wait. Now I'm going to pause this for a while because it's going to take a while but I will come back later to show you how to complete the seasoning process for this. Okay, you will notice here that the pan is starting to smoke. That means to say that the oil that I use has already reached its smoking point. 
Now you will notice that I already use uh, wore my gloves already so that I can start handling it. So what do you need to do here? Now you notice that I liberally put oil on the pan. Now that was intentional because I didn't want to try to take out uh, that much oil compared to what others tend to instruct in the internet. So the reason being is because while it's still very very hot I want to use this rag and wipe it. Wipe, you will notice that it starts to really smoke high. Now this will, now the, what, what's happening here is that you're trying to take out the top layer of the oil. You can actually turn it off for a while. The top layer of the oil from this. And you need to do this while it's hot. And the remaining oil, which is still on the surface of the pan, will start to polymerize and form that layer of seasoning that you wanted. Now, so here, you notice it's generating a lot of smoke. That's actually normal when you actually start wiping it. So then just wipe all the nooks and crannies, again utilizing these gloves so that you won't get burned. You will probably notice here that there are still some white portions. That's okay. If it bugs you, if it bugs you, you can actually take it out later. But the truth of the matter is, is that you're done. You're done seasoning. Now, the reason being is because the presumption here is that you're going to start cooking on it. And when you start cooking on it, you'll start building up that layer. There is absolutely, or at least to my opinion, no reason why you need to do this multiple times before you even start cooking on it. Uh, that may be uh, the way that most people do it because they want to keep it nice and shiny. But for me, my only objective here is to prevent the pan from rusting that is really the main objective that I have here so if I still have here uneven spots I look at it are these spots gonna affect the quality of my cooking if it's not gonna affect the quality of my cooking then I don't want to worry about it I'll just keep it there so long as I don't have any rust I don't really have any possible thoughts or dangers that the rust is going to go into my food and so on and so forth because it's already been polymerized by the oil that I use for the seasoning. So you will notice that this is a very simple process. Now you will do this very quickly every time you cook. So once you finish cooking you rinse it off and you go through this process and you can keep protecting your pan. And here I've shown you here that this is the easiest way to maintain your pan. You won't have to worry about trying to be uh, seeing the seasoning is chipping off or it's not showing an even layer and so on and so forth. Just go ahead and just cook with your pan. Uh, this will be of benefit, particularly those who don't have an oven. Uh, if you want to utilize the, the oven system, that's completely fine. But I actually find this method much more effective than the oven and I'm saying that is because I've been using the oven method for quite a few years and during this pandemic period I tried utilizing the method by doing it in a stove top and I find it very very effective so I'm hoping that uh, this is a guidance I'm not saying that this is how you should do it this is just how I would do it and it's really up to you to choose on what is best for you so thank you